showing the setup of an Epson SureColor P5000 Violet for producing screen printing films. The Epson printer itself is already integrated in the software and the print manager. So I go on with adding the machine with the print engine wizard into the software for getting a correct job style. I choose the right print manager that's already set it up here. There are a lot of different Epson printer models available and the right one is already chosen. And now I'm in the most important settings uh, window and it shows that there is a droplet to film technology described here. This is a product system by Studio Rep itself. They're selling their own um, ink cartridges and inkjet film. But for me, it's not so important because I'm using uh, always the standard Epson inks. Uh, the reason is uh, I also want to produce ISO standard digital proofs, and therefore I need uh, the original Epson inks. The screen frequency for screen printing is best with 85 LPI. The quality should be good. And I don't need negative and mirrored film. And the media width is 432. And um, I need the film which is scratch resistant. That means that I will use photo black ink. The ink configuration is mm, uh, the originals. With Studio Web inks, you can also use um, uh, black inks in the orange and green channels, for example. And uh, for the feed adjustment, we need to set up a value here. But I will explain and do. A uh, fine adjustment, fine feed adjustment in the later tutorial. Okay, that's for the moment, that's all. So I say add style and finish. And you see here the new job style is already created. I go inside and showing you the most important part of the job uh, workflow tasks, job style workflow tasks and uh, the things I modify from Studio Rip's standard settings. For example, here they have their own screen type settings, and but I don't use this curve they have already created here, so I switch it off. And that's all here. So here you see the uh, settings for the frequency, dot shape, that's all fi fine so far. And also we are we using the standard print manager. And here in this uh, window you see a lineup of all the main settings they have, all the important settings they have created automatically. You see that we are using photo black ink. And, uh, but I want to uh, modify these settings a bit. Therefore, I you go you go to the ink settings and I type in here a value of 62%. Uh, it's a value of my experience. I know how much ink is then placed on the uh, film surface and which gives a good density. Okay, that's everything okay here. And so we can close it and print and first an uncalibrated page without any uh, tra uh, any curve uh, that we can get uh, an impression of the real dot gain of the printer. And to have a preview, I deactivate it here. So then I say print. And you see that the job is already processing. Okay, here you see it. 
and we see that looks nice now F solid tone, 50% tone and all the others I need for measurement ok, so then I start printing so when the uncalibrated target is printed you have of course wait some minutes for drying the ink and uh, you can see on the back side that the ink is dry now and uh, f for the measurement of the uh, ink coverage you need a conventional uh, film densitometer and they are still available as a second hand device on uh, eBay or other platforms and uh, if the manufacturer is still existing they can do uh, a recalibration of the measurement device so that you are safe in your measurements and uh, so then we start and first we have to zero on the film and measure the solid tone it's 3.05 as D max that's quite good because we need more than 3.0 and that's for my 100% and then I go on with 2% I measure 4 7 at 4 10% at 6 and so on so at 80 I got 90 and 90% 90 I got 96 HR165 that's for the film and uh, we got to mention the resolution okay so on the left side I have to uh, type in the the values which are standing written uh, written on the film so that's beginning with 2 and I measured 4 and so on with the other values
last one, so I have to a little bit interpolation. Okay, that's it. So you see that we got something like a mountain in the middle, but this is a normal behavior of an inkjet printer. And um, so well, that looks fine. It's a response curve for linearization, so we the calibrated target should be exactly, uh, mostly exactly to the printed values. So 2% should be 2% on the film. Okay, so then we go on with that. And say we say okay. And then we print again. Now our printed calibrated page, including the linearization. <laughs> okay. Engine is busy. And it starts printing. Yeah, now the calibrated target is printed and we can now measure uh, this term too in the same uh, way we've done it with the uncalibrated target. At first to zero it. Of course we have to measure the max density again we got 3.01 and now we can measure the tone scale At two percent, we got two percent. At four, we got five. That's not so important. We always got one percent more or less. That's a normal behavior. Got eleven. Twenty, we got twenty one. Thirty, thirty. Forty, forty. Fifty, we got fifty one. Seventy, we got sixty-nine. Eighty, we got eighty. nice linear film now and we can now start the production of screen printing films. <laughs> 